as soon as I heard the shots, I just, I booked it. I ran. And I've been in situations before where you hear gunshots and you run. But I've never been in one where you hear them and actually get hit by one. Because mm. I was running and next thing I know, I just couldn't feel my leg and I fall. And it didn't even dawn on me that I had gotten shot. So I got up and tried to keep running and realized I couldn't put pressure on my leg. But I had to get out of there, so I, just, I was just hopping on one leg across across the intersection. That's when I heard my name being called. And it was my friend Jamarlin. He was like, he's like, Gabe, Gabe, you, you good, man? You, you okay? I was like, no, no, I got shot. I'm shot. He's like, hi, man. He's like, come here, come here. He put my arm around his, his neck and kind of helped me make my way across the street and sat me down in the bench in front of a diner. And that's when the lady from inside came out and gave me a rag, and we flagged down uh, an officer. And he came over there, uh, checked out my injuries, and decided he had to go help some more severe injuries. So, in the meantime, Jamarlin was pulling his car around. So he pulls his car around, throws me in his car. I'm bleeding all over his car. There's a lot of blood everywhere. I didn't even know where I was bleeding from. There was so much blood. And we get the UAB, and thankfully I'm one of the first ones there. So within 30 seconds of arriving, I'm on the table, fully undressed, and they're working on me. So they were on their they were on their P's and Q's that night. Mm. 